Hey, my Lipton. So this is just going to be like a random, like, you know, superhero um, movie, like, review video that I'm putting up. It's just, just super random. I'm just going to be talking about tweets and about, like, um, fans' responses to certain things. Let me just say this before I even continue. I, I'm so happy that we, we are waking up, that we are waking up to Hollywood's BS when it comes to the casting of Storm, okay? Y'all have played in the audience faces for way too long. For way, 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 way too long. Don't get me wrong. I like Halle Berry. But do I know that Halle Berry was a terrible choice to play Storm? Absolutely. I don't know who Miss Alexandria, what's her name? Alexandria something, something. I, I forgot her last name. She had absolutely no, wh why was she even near the set to play Storm? Okay. Y'all have been messing with one of the best characters of X-Men for way too long. I want if let me say something because you know X Men ninety seven is coming back up and I'm about to I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be tuning in I'm gonna be tuning in y'all be getting the animations right but for some particular reason anytime y'all guys come to live action y'all don't know what the fuck to do please 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 cast a dark skin. and it's like the crazy thing is like y'all know how Storm look like y'all know how Storm. Looks like y'all keep bringing in these light, bright girls to be playing Storm. And they've, they're they very mediocre playing playing Storm. Storm is a very powerful character. Get get me some dark-skinned girls to, be, to play Storm. Okay? I'm, ty I'm tired of seeing the, Alex the Halle Berry types. I'm tired of seeing the Alexandria types. No shade, no shade. You know? But it's like, cast these people, cast these people out correctly. Please. Please. I'm begging you at this point. And it's like, I'm glad the general public is waking up. I saw this tweet. They said that, you know, what actor um, slash actress was completely 100% wrong for this role. And y'all y'all got it right. Y'all said Halle Berry and Miss Alexandra was not right for this role. And I, abs I have to agree. I have to agree. We've been talking about this. We had conversations about this. We, I, I, it shouldn't have never even been, a, it shouldn't have never been a debate. Okay. Cast a dark skin storm to play this role. Okay. And do, and please do not bring in Storm Reed to play to play storm or else we, I'm, I'm gonna fight I'm, I'm gonna like this is why eventually you know fingers crossed i'm gonna end up being a casting director because none of y'all are getting the casting right in hollywood and it's pissing me off but i'm glad the general public is waking up but i am excited to see x-men 97 i'm gonna see what it is giving okay i saw the previews i saw the the trailer it looks really good i'm gonna see what it gives but yeah Shout out, shout out to y'all, shout out to the general public. We've been having our finger on the pulse, you know. We were never here for a light, bright storm. We wanted a chocolate, you know, we wanted dark chocolate, okay? But instead, we got milk chocolate. And I like milk chocolate, but we gotta, you know, if I'm asking for, you know, dark chocolate, give me dark chocolate. Feel me? So, that's that. Next. Um, I I need y'all to stop playing with, with um Magneto. Like I'm 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 like really really, y'all need to stop. Like this it, the fact this is even an insult that y'all are even saying, a uh, uh, an Iron Man versus a Magneto choose your fighter. Like are you serious? Like are you are you are you for real? And this person said it perfectly here. <laughs> she said, "Let's put our thinking caps on for a second. And it's true. Like y'all need to stop playing. I I think I think it's because like. You know, since Disney bought X Men, um, and bought the Fox franchise, so like y'all now y'all are you know sort of it's because you know it's been a minute since we had Magneto on our screens, on our television screens, on our movie screens. So y'all are forgetting the power and 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 like the the mm, the sauce that Magneto brought to the to our television screens, to our movie to our movie screens. Y'all are forgetting the power that this man exhibited, and y'all are playing in this man's face. And honestly. This is why, you know, while yes, I'm happy that we have X-Men 97 coming out, but y'all, y'all mean, y'all need to bring in the Michael Fassbenders and y'all need to bring in, um, what is his name? Sir Ian, Sir Ian McClain. Is that his name? Sir Ian? Y'all need to bring in Sir Ian because y'all are playing 
in their faces. How do y'all have, how do y'all have an ex, uh, uh, an Iron Man next to a Magneto? It, the disrespect that I'm seeing here on Twitter. Y'all need to get y'all shit together. And then on top of that, I'm reading the comments. Y'all like, oh, well, you know, obviously, if Iron Man doesn't prepare for the fight, of course, Magneto's going to win. But if Iron Man gets prep time, then he's going to win. Are you... <laughs> y'all stop playing in Magneto's face. I don't care how many preps... Y'all like... And that's the thing, too, with a lot of y'all, like, fan girls and fanboys. Y'all love to, like, gas up these, like... I don't know, Batman and like, um, you know, uh, Iron Man. And it's like, listen, don't get me wrong. And I like Iron Man. Don't get me wrong. I like, I like these characters, but when y'all putting them against people that have like, you know, natural, their powers are natural. Like they didn't have to build for this shit. This is just the shit that is biological and it's powerful. It's to the point where like they can, they can cause whole destruction. Y'all not about to put my faves in a fight with, you know, with people that need prep time. Okay, F prep time. B bitch, if, we, if I need you on the battleground, I need you on the battleground. I need you in the battlefield. Front lines. So it's like, if you need all that prep, if you need to be building and build, like, I, I don't got time for that. And it's like, the fact that y'all really, like, Magneto controls whole metal. Like, I can't believe y'all are doing this to my fave like that. Y'all are really doing this to Magneto like this. And I hate, I, it's, I hate the disrespect that y'all be giving to Magneto. Y'all are really saying... My, oh, if Magneto don't got no prep time, he he will, like, if, you know, if it's just, like, boom, boom. If, but if Iron Man gets prep, he's going to be, uh, please, Ma Magneto will stick metal up Iron Man's ass, okay? He will fuck Iron Man up. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. Like, are y'all serious right now? Like, I think y'all need to go back to how, because at this point, I don't even want to continue ranting and raving because y'all already pissing me off. But y'all need to go back in the comments to see how brutal Magneto was with his, with his, with his superpowers, okay? And it's no shade. And it's like, don't get me wrong. I like Iron Man, but Iron Man is not winning this fight. Like, Magneto would literally impale Iron Man with his own metal. With, the, with his own suit, he will die in 2.5 seconds. Like, did y'all see what he did to freaking, um, to Logan, to Wolverine, in, in all the X-Men films? Like, he was penetrating that ass with the metal, with the metal inside of him. He was dragging Wolverine like a rag doll in Days of Future Past. Y'all need to stop playing with Magneto, okay? Magneto is the GOAT. Magneto, Magneto was always right. Have, y'all need to have more, way more respect on his name. And honestly, y'all need to go back and watch the other, the other X-Men films to see who the hell Magneto is. Because Magneto is that damn good. The best in the world. Stop playing with him. Next, lastly. Um, so, listen. So, Chris Evans came out with this. And honestly, I'm not surprised. Um, Chris Evans said that, you know, um. Captain America Winter Soldier was the was one of his best um his personal favorite Marvel film. Um and honestly, y'all, I like to this day, like maybe I, I haven't been looking at the directors. I still don't know why we can't have this type of cinema within Marvel films now. Like Winter I think we're forgetting how like amazing Winter Soldier was. Winter Soldier, like the the fight scenes, the the CGI, the the acting like, it was so good. It looked so, and on top of that, it looked, th theoretically, it was just, it, it was chef's kiss. And I don't understand why the MCU can't, like, can't be, like, how Winter Soldier was. Like, honestly, truly. Like, the the, the pacing, everything was amazing. And honestly, I I'm I'm happy that Chris Evans, you know, said this. Um, Captain America Winter Soldier is also one of my favorite Marvel films. It's honestly, shoot, I think we honestly should have been taking direction from from Winter Soldier. Like, because it's like, at this point, these Marvel films are just lacking, 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 slacking, slacking, slacking. And, you know, at this point, you know, it's it's kind of looking bleak. The future is looking very bleak um, for Marvel. So, and I don't even think, because I know there's some, a few comments that are saying like oh that um 
we just want Marvel to, like, it's like this hate train, like, we want Marvel to fail. It's like, no, like, I want Marvel to succeed. I, the reason why I'm going to movies to, uh, using my own hard, good, hard on money to watch a film is because I want to watch a good film. I want to watch a great film. I want my money's worth. So it's like, I want these films to be successful. I want them to do well. And it's like, if the films are good, if the storyline is good, if the cinematography, the CGI, hair, everything is good, I'm going to give it its props. But, like, y'all keep doing this weird shit in films now. The CG, the CGI be looking a mess. The storyline don't be making sense. The pacing is terrible. Everything's a mess. So, of course, we're going to come on here and, and, and criticize. Are there some bad faith, bad faith actors online and things like that that like to criticize just to criticize for monetization of course but it's like me being a fan you know it's like I, I want better for these films and Winter Soldier definitely set the bar high you know so you know I, I, I just wish Marvel films can be like this like the way it was back in the you know giving you know the mid 2000s ish or like you know towards like the 2012s the 2013s 2014 Marvel like it was just like it was a good time to be a Marvel fan at that time, and I and I I really I still have hope I still have faith in Marvel, but they need to get their shit together, honestly, truly. So, but yeah, but y'all, yeah, that was just my thoughts on that. Um, please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I know y'all about to get some people like, oh girl, what you talking about in this video? But no, please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I want to also thank y'all for the new subscribers that I came onto the channel. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank y'all for subscribing. Um, let's get up to 800 subscribers. The goal is to get up to 1,000. Let's continue to spread the message. Let's spread the brand. And thank y'all so much. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.